what I'm going to talk about today uh, is about the uh, CDIGMP receptor mediated the bacteria uh, valence uh, in the bacteria uh, in the rice pathogen, uh, Cisamonas oriza, Passova oriza. Uh, here I show you uh, a picture. Uh, it's a one, one bowl of the rice. <laughs> so, uh, as you know, in the Asia, or in, especially in China, and uh, we are biggest the country with the cons consumption of the rice uh, because of the huge, huge the population. So, I know that Western people like it's the the bread, uh, uh, Italy people like the, eat the spaghetti and uh, some, some <laughs> wheat product. But uh, the Chinese people, like me, also we live in, I, I live in the uh, several countries like the United States and, uh, and, and uh, America and, and uh, Canada. But I still like uh, eat the rice, it's, uh, it's my uh, diet. <laughs> so rice in China is a, uh, most important uh, the stamp of food crop. Uh, so in the, in the world, and uh, 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 Dr. Ventura uh, told me that in the Italy, the rice is a big, uh, big crop. And uh, so it's a very, very important crop in, 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 in China, in Asia, and in the world. Uh, but they still have the big problem, problem for the disease. You know, this disease is caused, uh, called, called the bacteria leaves blight of rice. Uh, this disease uh, causes uh, 10 to 15 percent yield loss, no, normally. Sometimes if the, this disease, disease, disease is serious, uh, so totally lost the yield in the field. So this is a uh, symptom of the of this disease. You can find uh, here uh, uh, called the leaf blight. If after the bacterial infection, and the bacteria can enter the tissue of the leaves of rice and uh, multi multi multiply, uh, this is a, a bacteria with the yellow uh, pigment. Uh, we call the Cinsomonas oriza, Passova oriza, and called XOO. Uh, just we're talking about, uh, for, for our uh, uh, final goal is to, to control effectively of the disease. But uh, the fundamental, some, some, some questions always uh, surround us. So we, we, we have to answer, uh, clarify many, many uh, molecular mechanisms. Uh, like the, for the bacterial pathogenesis. Uh, we are very lucky uh, currently for the bacteria and uh, host rice already uh, genome sequenced. So it provides uh, some uh, the chance or opportunity to uh, from the general uh, level and uh, the molecular level to, to understand some molecular mechanism, especially for the bacterial valorance and the host resistance. Uh, you, you know, uh, during, during the past years recently, and uh, in many, many bacteria, like uh, is, uh, include some plant pathogenic bacteria and uh, some bacteria involved in the medical, uh, like E. coli, salmonella, the bacteria, uh, we find the cyclic uh, uh, DIGMP. This is a bacterial signal message. Uh, it's a universal. So this message is very important. Here I show you this is a CDIGMP molecule. It can be uh, by, by the synthesize uh, by the uh, dagonated uh, 
cytosidics uh, for the biogenesis. And that can be degraded by the PDE uh, phosphodiesterase. I call that PDE. So uh, uh, the, for, for, for DGC and the PDE, uh, they have the characteristic with the GGDF domain and the EAR domain, respectively. And uh, after, uh, uh, here I show you this is a metabolism. This is a metabolism of the signal. If this signal uh, recognized by the receptor, they can be trans, uh, transducted. And uh, uh, this, this uh, pathway, signal pathway, can be by different kind of the receptor uh, possessed. Uh, once uh, recognized, the outputs okay, uh, include the valence, uh, motility, and uh, uh, by info biofilm uh, information, and the CR uh, cycle, the so multiple uh, phenotype. Now for us, I'm a plant pathologist, so we are, uh, it's my, my focus on the valence, motility, and the biofilm. So, uh, so in my lab, uh, we, we focused on the uh, uh, CDIGM signal pathway in the XOO, this specific bacteria. And uh, uh, we find that from the genome uh, sequence, after the sequence, we find uh, there are 26 GGDF domain, ER domain, and uh, HD, GYP domain distributed in the whole genome. So you can find here, here is 26. And in my lab, we, in the previous work, we already identify one, uh, two component system. This is a, a universal in the bacteria, and uh, which, uh, which include the PDEK and the PDR. PDK is a uh, histine kinase, and the PDR is a re response re regulator. And uh, very interesting, this uh, PDER is a PDE with a PDE enzyme activity, uh, which can function as a PDE enzyme to degrade the CDRGMP into, in, into two GMP. Uh, Right now, for I, I, I mentioned earlier, there are 26 uh, GGDF domain, ER domain. And uh, so all of them <laughs> were under this institute, uh, investigator in my lab. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, uh, uh, but uh, if, uh, yeah, we, we just try to, to understand uh, from the whole genome level, uh, how to buy, uh, buy, uh, buy and uh, and the degradation for degradation, and the next question is, uh, uh, what's the recept for the, this kind of uh, specific uh, bacterial second message? Uh, so here is a receptor, or called the infectors, like the infector. It's not the uh, T three SS. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, so 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 uh, today I would like to focus on here for the receptor of the CDIGMP signal, and uh, in my lab we already uh, identify three kind of the receptors. Uh, one is uh, degenerate the C uh, GGDF domain and the ER domain protein. Second is a, a, a PIZ domain protein. Third is a transcriptional factor. 
So I would like to uh, introduce three uh, kind of the uh, receptors. And uh, all of this uh, receptor is involved in for the bacterial valence regulation. Here uh, is the first uh, class of the receptors, uh, which is uh, degenerate GGDF domain, ER domain um, protein. You can see here, uh, this protein has uh, four domains, uh, include the received domain, PS domain, ER domain, and, uh, ER domain, and uh, GGF domain. Uh, traditionally, this domain functions as an enzyme like the G, DGC and or PDE enzyme. But here you can find the, uh, the conserved the motif already changed. You can find here the changed uh, GEHSF and the QAF. So probably they don't function as an enzyme. So with uh, by the by informatics analysis, uh, we, we find the uh, uh, EL domain and the uh, EL uh, GGF domain of this protein. We call this protein is a FRP, uh, is R generated. Uh, also, this protein, no. By uh, by informatic uh, uh, by informatic analysis indicate this gene, uh, this protein no enzyme activity, so we use the HPLC. We we express this uh, protein and uh, purify this protein and uh, test the uh, enzyme activity of this protein. We find we use the uh, HPLC also find the uh, indeed. This protein lost the enzyme, either the DGC enzyme and the PDE enzyme. Now, what is the function for this protein? So, so we we test this protein to bind the signal, the CDIGMP. We use the isocyanide uh, tight titation uh, collimate uh, called the ITC IOC to, to test uh, the ability of the binding of CDIGMP. So you can find here this protein really combined the CDIGMP in vitro, in vitro. And now, uh, you know, I already mentioned that this protein has four domains, and which domain has the has the activity to binding the CDIGMP? So we test each each of the domain of the four four domains, and we find the only EAL domain is critical for CDIGMP. Here you can find the uh, which can, can uh, bind the CDIGMP domain, uh, the, the signal molecules, but not others. And then, uh, within the year domain, which is a residues, <laughs> is important for the CDIGMP binding. So we made the, the, uh, the point mutation for this domain. And we find the, Oh, sorry. We find uh, here three residues are very, are very important for CDIGMP uh, binding. And uh, here we already tested the uh, enzyme activity, uh, CDIGMP, uh, CDIGMP binding uh, ability. Uh, what's the function in the bacterial valence. So we made the mutant, the delay mutant, in frame the delay mutant here. We use the uh, 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 genomycin 
resistance gene to replace the to replace the, the uh, original gene fragment, and uh, almost uh, the disrupt the received domain, PAS domain, GGDF domain, and the ER domains. So we made the deletion mutant. Then we test the pathogenicity on rice. We look at uh, what's the function for the, uh, in the uh, valence expression. Here you can find uh, uh, this is the Y type, this is mutant, and uh, here is a different uh, the complement uh, strain. Uh, suggesting the result suggesting the therapy of this protein is positively regulates the valerase. And uh, also we can find here is the gene expression of type three secretion system. This is, uh, is a typical of the valence mechanism the, called the type uh, T3SS. In XO, X, uh, half X, half G, and half one, uh, the first two is a regulatory, uh, is a general regulator, and uh, this is the infector. So three genes are the presentative, uh, representative of the t 3 So we just check, uh, use the uh, quantitative QRT-PCR to, to detect uh, the gene expression of the representative of T3SS system. Hubs, X, hub G, hub uh, You can find uh, all of the of gene, the express is, is, is done, is reduced. So, uh, so suggesting uh, H, uh, EAR domain, PAS domain, and the receive domain, but not GGF domain uh, are required for, for, for valence and uh, T3SS expression regulation. Did you, did you have the questions? No? Okay. Uh, here, I, I would like to talk about the uh, second class of the uh, receptors of the CDIGMP. It's called the PIZ domain uh, protein. Uh, this is the first uh, uh, find, found in the bacteria, like some uh, medical bacteria. Uh, like uh, E. coli, Salmonella, um, the, f the first uh, uh, CDIGMP receptor find in the bacteria. In, in my bacteria, the XOO, we find uh, from the whole genome, we find the three genes, which are called the, uh, uh, this is a uh, 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 P PIZ homolog. So probably they function as a CDIGMP uh, binding protein or receptors. So, so we clone this gene and express this gene. With, uh, first, we, uh, in silicon uh, analysis, we find uh, here is the control, the positive control. Here is my XO genes, three genes. Uh, very interesting, the first two uh, in the RXXXR and uh, DXXXG, this motif, they have some changes. Uh, here you can find uh, for first two, they are the uh, conserved, but the third, the third, the changed here, here. So this means probably uh, these three uh, PIZ domain protein has has different kind, different the functions or different role uh, in in this bacteria. So, uh, so we 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 express we express the and uh, purified the protein of the three PIZ domain protein, 
and uh, you can find a very interest here. The first two can bind the CDIGMP directly. Here you can find. Uh, but the third doesn't. It makes sense because, you know, the, cons the uh, uh, here, I forgot here, because here is conserved. The CDIGMP binding domain, the motif is conserved, but here is uh, generate, generated. So next, we, 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 we just try to, to find the, for, for, for this one, for, for this one, why, why uh, what's the function for this protein? We, we used the, uh, used to hybridize, hybridize, hybrid uh, OC, and the GSP pull down to conform. Uh, we find this, this protein, the PXO 2715, can interact with the FRP I mentioned earlier direct, directly, but not the another PRZ domain protein. Very interesting. Here, I don't want to give the too detailed the technique here. For uh, 2715, this protein, uh, very interesting. We made the gene deletion mutant. We tested the, the valence, bacterial valence. valence. This, uh, mut this mutant can copy, can finally copy the FRP. Very similar, very similar, uh, either in the septum or, or the gene expression level. So that suggests uh, uh, this protein positively regulates uh, valence expression. And for, for other two uh, PIZ domain protein, uh, which, is, uh, which are negative regulator for the disease, for the pathogenicity, for the valence and the gene expression, here you can find the, 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 the difference. Uh, so I already talking about the three the receptors here for, from the XO, this uh, rice bacteria. So I would like to give some summary. Uh, when it's a, a FRP is a, is a novel receptor, which is uh, enzyme inactive, and, but uh, this protein can bind the CDIGMP effectively. So, uh, so we, we call this protein, uh, call this protein is a, is a degenerate, uh, uh, degenerate uh, ER domain and uh, GDF domain protein, which is a, a receptor. And uh, this receptor not only binding the CDIGMP, but also regulates the valence and the T3 assays gene ex expression. And uh, very interesting, uh, this protein can, find, can interact with uh, one of the uh, PIZ domain protein. Uh, both, probably both form a complex uh, working together to, for the positively regulates the valence here. Uh, first, PRZ domain uh, 49 and 2374 uh, combined the CDI, CDIGMP effectively in vitro and uh, regulates, regulate negatively bacterial valence. Uh, fifth, uh, 2344 specifically interact uh, another two new protein uh, probably uh, it's a uh, 
it's a new mechanism to be to be studied uh, in the future. And the sixth is uh, one set of the gene and the promoter uh, regulated or directed by the CRP protein. This transcription regulator uh, was identified, uh, identified. Uh, but the the function still unknown right now for for this set of the gene, and uh, and uh, include some some small RNA. It's a bigger field to to be studied further. So uh, finally, I I would like to uh, post a, a working model. Oh, oh, just uh, just uh, mediated by the uh, CDIGMP receptor. Uh, I call this is a <laughs> CDIGMP receptor mediated signal signaling pathway in in, in bacterial valence uh, regulation. Here we find that uh, uh, this is a uh, CDIGMP molecule can be received by three kind of the receptors. Uh, one is a uh, uh, degenerate GGDF domain, EA domain protein. Uh, this, this protein should uh, probably combined with uh, one of the PIZ domain protein form a complex working together to regulate the Half G, half G, half X, and the T3SS finally control the bacterial uh, valence. This is a, this is a one way here, right? Uh, but uh, still, a lot of the question here: how how they did? But uh, right now, I, I know I have no questions. Oh, I have no idea here. We have to uh, to. To, 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 to get more work. And the second way is uh, uh, this way. And uh, this signal can be trans, uh, uh, transducted from these two proteins and uh, negatively regula regulates the bacteria, bacterial valence. And the third is a transcription regulator which can control the, a lot of the gene expression and the small RNA yeah. through this way to regulation of, to regulate the regulate of the veterans. Yeah. So here I also summarize some future work to be done and uh, one is uh, this uh, this pair how to how to infect the T three SS system and the valence expression. Uh, second is uh, what's the for uh, the signal by receive PAS domain of the FRP and uh, how to, uh, and how to activate the year domain for, for, for the function. So this uh, is whether and how uh, this PIRS domain regulate T3SS and the valence expression. So this is what the role the CRP regulates the gene and the small RNA play in the uh, uh, valence regulation. Uh, final one is, uh, is a big question. What's the interplay and the curse talking in in these receptors mediated the CDIGMP signal pathways in this bacteria? And uh, I would like to thank you, my, my uh, the people uh, working in my lab, uh, and uh, and uh, also we I, I have the uh, international collaboration with Dr. Jian Li and uh, Dr. Qin Hongyang uh, from the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, in, uh, United States. And uh, this 
this work is financially supporting by the National King Basic Research and Development Program. This is called the 973. This is a big, a big program in China for, for, fun, for the basic, uh, basic, research. basic research. Also, this is for the basic research too, the National Natural Foundation of Science. But uh, this is uh, the small money, like uh, it's a little bit of bigger money, <laughs> but it's uh, more money, it's a big, big, big money, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, oh, here is uh, my the, the group picture for my group. And uh, yeah, I, uh, this is a part of the member of my lab. Uh, many, 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 many people are not there here. And uh, in my group, uh, I almost have uh, 20 people in the group. And uh, I, have, I have three assistants. You know, in China, the, the, team, the, the, the team system is not uh, as in the West. I am PI, but I, I also have the assist, assistant, uh, like, uh, and one, two, and three. And the other is a postdoctor, PhD student, and a master's student, and a technician. This is a technician. And, oh, this one is not my group. <laughs> this is Dr. Jen Lish. And uh, several weeks ago, she, uh, she visited my lab, and uh, we, we just take a uh, group pictures, yeah. Oh, thank you for your attention. <laughs> I, yeah, I would like to take the okay. I would like to take the questions.